Hey there, it's BitBee, and welcome out to another BitBee stream. Thank you very much for coming out. Today is a Wednesday, and we're going to be playing some more Splinter Cell. I hope everybody's day is going great. Hello, how are you doing over there in the YouTube and also over in the Twitch? I hope things are good. Yay. Ah, I'm having a little bit of a uh, slightly lazier day, but I'm doing pretty good. Oh, jeez, I got the wrong music going. Hey. Shush. <laughs> Stop doubling up. Anyway. Ah. Uh, Stream scuff, it always exists in some capacity, in some ways. And if you have a stream that doesn't have scuff, well, that's an anomaly. <laughs> Straight up. All right. Oh, da, 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 da. So, yes, uh, we got... I don't remember how far we got. I mean, I, I don't remember how much is left. I know that, like, we go to the oil refinery next. Dice about it. You look blue today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. My complexion is fantastic. <laughs> We love scuff. Yeah, to be fair, if there wasn't scuff, there'd be nothing exciting. Anyways, uh, so yeah, oil refinery type of thing going on, uh, you know, during this stream. So let's go. Let's let's do the thing. Da -da -da -da. I think everything is all lined up properly and all that jazz. All right. How we doing audio wise? Yep, that sounds like ocean. By the way, before the stream started, I noticed something. Look at the water. Is it just me, or is like that water is moving fast? <laughs> I don't know, like, and I don't know whether or not that's what it looked like back in the day, or whether, like, you know, this is some sort of a weird, like, doubling of, like, frame rate or something. Fast, well, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just very turbulent for some reason. Very strange. Okay, um, anyway, so we got to... We gotta get to the oil refinery. Now, I seem to remember that this mission was really obnoxious, and I don't remember why. I will probably remember very shortly. Oh. Okay, come on. Come on, Sam. Don't be stuck. Sam! <laughs> Not a good start! <laughs> Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's been... Oh, for God's sake. All right. Hey, Yarny. Okay, I seem to recall. Whoop. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Let's drop down here. wee -ha. Visual on hostile forces. We're blowing the bridge immediately. Repeat. Blowing the bridge. What? Oh, I suppose I am like, you know, bright as a... Oh. Oh, shoot. Well. Done fucked up. I guess it's time to run. hi up. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Sam. God damn it. All right, let's try that again. Close to a favorite streamer. Oh, thank you. Ruh -ro. Ruh -ro Reggie. Okay, seriously, what? It, what is with that one, like that one little bit of geometry? Is there any way that I can like maybe not have that dude see me? Is that? Hmm. Okay, yeah, he's right there. Yeah, I don't know if I have the, uh... I don't think I have the range to be able to hit that guy. And I especially don't think I have the, uh, the tools necessary to take him out, like, quietly and without, like, you know, violently doing it. That's called hacking, bit. <laughs> Visual on hostile forces. We're blowing the bridge immediately. Repeat, Hostile blowing forcing. the bridge. Well, fine. Oh, there's there's two of them there. Shoot. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that means that I probably can't take those guys out. God, speaking of hacking though, um, I recently heard the uh, information related to that Apex Legends hacking that happened. How? 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 Doth what? 
Is there some sort of like a special way that I'm supposed to be able to do that? I am not sure. Maybe speed all the way up. I seem to remember, I, I think I had the exact same problem uh, when I played the game way back in the day. But I don't remember what it was about. Visual on hostile forces. We're blowing the bridge immediately. Repeat, blowing the bridge. Can they not afford walkie-talkies that don't make you sound like a demon with a sore throat? I mean, this was back in 2002. <laughs> you know, well, technically, like, you know, story-wise, uh, probably took place, like, in 2004, 2005. Still, technology, man, it, it wasn't there. Okay, so... I mean, clearly, I need to... Is it, like... Probably not up there. I think I need to uh, use the rope. I think this is a scripted event, basically. So what? Ah! God damn it! Hmm. <laughs> Are we stopped directly at the gate with this uh, with this mission? God, I hope not. Hostile forces. We're blowing the bridge immediately. Repeat, blowing the bridge. Blowing the bridge. Did you consider my recommendation? Remind me again. What was your recommendation? I've had many. Okay. Um. Oh! Whoa! The Jesus. Why did it work that time? You know what? Just I'm gonna save. <laughs> I was failing. All right. Uh, yes. Save as um. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to type "funny bridge go boom," but uh, all right, "funny bridge gobo." Bad news, Fisher. Something got the military's attention. Oh, boy. The oil rig just got bumped into the single digits on NATO's strike list. Ride yourself a technician and get that data. Time just got scarce. Great. Make your head shape more like a water drop instead of looking like um, a gumball with glasses. I'm not doing that. Straight up, nope, not doing it. Because this is the design that I enjoy. I might do little iterations on the, uh, the, you know, the design of the clothes. I might, like, change up on some colors every now and again. But, uh, no. No, this, this is what I look like, and it's what in, I enjoy. And, honestly, I think it's the thing that a lot of people, um, identify with, so... What the fuck? <laughs> ah, this, this game is flawless. I think I need to get into this pipe. Mmm, good. Fossil fuels. That'll be good for my uh, my lungs later in life. Cool with the design, too, but just regular. Everybody look lively. Our computer technician is returning with the encryption key. I need two men to meet him at the docking station and escort him to the data hub. Let's get this finished quickly. We're a sitting dock out here. Eat the filth. Up. Hooray. And now I'm here. Okay. I'm going to take the hint that I need to go up here. Hey, look. Funny light go bulb go. Oh, you know what's funny? Playing Helldivers and trying my very best to remember not to reload every five minutes. Because, like... <laughs> In every video game I play, it's like I shoot and then reload. Shoot, reload, shoot, reload. Can't do that in Helldivers. 
Because you throw out all of the rest of your clip if you do that. Okay. Um, I think this... I, I do remember this being frustrating. So... Here we go. Uh-oh. Some kind of foreign commando. The mission's over. <laughs> Oopsies. Where are you? Okay, so I need to wait until, like, they can't see me. Luckily, I, I am in sort of a shadowy area over here, so... Basically, I just gotta wait until they've, like, passed by a little bit. Yeah, there they heck can go. I just don't want to, like, leave too much time. Because I also know that this game... This, this game does funny things when it comes to, um... You know, if you're not fast enough, suddenly they're just like, Oh, well, you didn't move fast enough. Oh, shoot. Well, looks like the enemy got away. How could you? How could you not have known to do that? Oh. Where do I go now at this point? Uh. Ah! <laughs> uh, that's great. I'm not 110% certain of what I'm supposed to be doing here. Let's see. What a fail. <laughs> ah. Do I just need to, like, climb up here, maybe? Hmm. This technically worked. But I don't think it was supposed to. Oh, well. <laughs> Mission fail. <sighs> How do you want me to do this? Uh, I'm assuming maybe climb up this ladder? A little bit farther away, a little bit harder to see. And a little darker. Hey. Alright. And then. Oh! I see. That's terrifying, because there's like sparks, but. It's probably the. In oh. Identify yourself. What? You don't know what's happening. Shut up. Relay alert from Philip Math. We have incoming American warplanes. Freedom is on its way. <laughs> hmm, that skybox. I love how absolutely savage they are. <laughs> Howdy, buddy. I think I'm doing good, so I'm going to save. Now... Imagine if I was playing this game and I didn't have the ability to save scum like a bastard. <laughs> that was basically the experience of playing this game on consoles. That's our friends from the Air Force. Ground troops are imminent. We'll keep you updated. Sorry. <laughs> Give me a minute. Uh, let's load this guy. What the hell was that? The hell was what? That's our friends from the Air Force. Ground troops are imminent. We'll keep you updated. I'm curious. What's over here? Ooh, there's a door. Yes. Okay, there are two doors at my disposal. We're under attack! We sustain heavy damage to- Yikes! The lock- what lock jammed? <laughs> Bull crap. Okay. Can I- oh. Don't do that. Damn it. Lock- lock jammed on everything. God, this place American sucks. American fighter planes! They're coming in again! 
Reports of incoming troop transport. There we go. Hey, Silver, how you doing? Remember uh, there being like a Helldivers ad in the beginning of the game? Uh, I challenge you, try uh, that voice, you know, expand your voice skills. Helldivers voice? I mean, there are several... Uh... Shit. Damn it! Okay. There are several different voices of Helldivers. I'm not entirely sure which one you're referring to. Gotta love that great old American freedom. That's our friends from the Air Force. Ground troops are imminent. We'll keep you updated. We're under attack! We've sustained heavy damage to- American fighter planes, they're coming in again. Reports of incoming troop transport. Shit. <laughs> Fine. Fine then. I thought I was doing pretty good there. I'd like to repeat again person that uh th there was somebody who commented on blue skies just being like if you're playing this game oh boy don't be pacifist that's our friends don't do it because <laughs> you're just asking for pain we'll keep you updated <laughs> what a... that's how i play this game man i'm into the uh you know the stealth challenge no matter how frustrating it might get sometimes. To... we've sustained happy damage to blah! I am definitely visible over here if he looks close enough. Bang, 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 bang. fighter planes! They're coming in again! Reports of incoming troop transport! Ha <laughs> ha, sucker! How you doing, buddy? Good night. I'm taking your satchel. <gasps> Medical kit! Nice. Um, okay. is this available? Lock jam, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Anyway, um, I will go ahead and save this again as, um... Here we go! Three! What does the Snatcher voice sound like without the filter? Um, uh, basically, my voice except slightly raspier, you know, with a little bit of depth to it. Kind of depends on whether or not Snatcher is like being GPS super serious or not. Because sometimes he's just being goofy. If you don't get closer, we're going to lose him. I'm well aware of that, but do you realize how many soldiers there are here, sir? Hmm. Okay. We got two soldiers that are standing out guard, and I need to somehow get past. Them. Oh, hello. See, it's still spray. I swear, I turned it off. Sure you did. I did. Sit. There's nothing here. All right, are you guys going to turn around? Up, Fisher. We need you close to Piotr when he logs in. We're getting dangerously close to avoiding the mission. Won't open. I'm lucky to net. I did. I think it's broken. What's the hold up? It's this damn reek. Everything's. Never mind. We'll go around. I think they're coming this way. All right, now the question is, are they gonna come through here? If that's the case, I'm in trouble. Uh-oh. Oh. Turn, you bastard! 
What the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, here we go for stealth at max. <laughs> He's just good at what he does. Change of plans, Fisher. You're going after that technician, Piotr. You want the briefcase that's chained to his wrist. He downloaded the data to that? To a laptop inside it. Use whatever force necessary. Whatever force necessary, eh? Okay. Well, they're closed into this room now. Uh, I'm assuming maybe I gotta go this way to maybe get to him. Maybe they gave up a little bit too quickly on this door. Oh, there's a med kit here. Good stuff. All right. <laughs> I'd say, like, why, why do you have the oven on? That's incredibly dangerous. But, I mean, this rig is kind of fucked as is, so. Identify yourself. No. You know what? I gotta take this guy out anyways. And also, look at his face from far away. Shit! I'm... Um, friend. <laughs> what the fuck?! <laughs> I love the AI in this game. <laughs> it's both broken and not broken at the same time. It's great. Uh, go to bed. Anyway. Alright, so maybe I gotta go through here instead. Ah. Alright. First thought is maybe I need to, like, turn this on again. Possibly. Bottle. Get out of here. Oh, I can't? Shoot. Um. Yes, no. You know. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not being very creative with the names today. Um, luckily, I don't think there's any weird time you know, timer type of things going on here. So I think I have all the time I need to figure out how the heck I'm supposed to get through here. Though, that, that entire little bit there, what the hell divers is going on? I don't want to jump through the fire. <laughs> but I don't know if the game's giving me many options here. Um, maybe, like, can I... Oh, that almost looks like a seam I can walk through. All right. Well, say let me... Oh, God! We did that. Well, I've... Breaking shit. I gotta stop. Him. Oh fuck! What kind of foreign commando. We have you surrounded. I'm dead. <laughs> okay, let me try and do that again. Like. The controls in this game are, um, infinitely jank, I must say. I'm trying to remember, is there a way that I can save some of these files if I get in there quick enough? Unsure, not, not 100%. I will try, though. Cut that out. All right, 
That's some sensitive material we got here. <sighs> Dang it. Okay, did anything survive? Oh, hey, a little bit of ammo. Woo little bit of shoot. Although, I'm being very good and not two med kits. Wow, it's like my birthday. <laughs> anyway, I'm doing pretty good and I'm not like shooting people, so. Anyway, uh, that's pretty freaking smooth, so. Um, that's some smooth sailing right there. Ah, someone's dying. And I'm not the one that's doing it. How dare you? Oh! oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, alright. Um, so how do I not get riddled with bullets this time? Hi! How you doing? Hmm, <laughs> smooth sailing. I mean, I could just ignore all the other sailors and soldiers and stuff. Hi! Dang it! <laughs> Some kind of foreign commander! Oh my god! Wouldn't that be crazy? Like, you're just walking through, just not not a care in the world, and then all of a sudden, just like you know, random ninja, like like cyber ninja, just comes in. And you're like, who the hell are you? Get out of you! Are you see me? What the? How? Uh, Hold up. I must test. Uh, uh, ah! uh, see, the good news is that my buddies in the Air Force have been uh, very nice at making sure they can't just get out of here. Get the technician's briefcase by any means. Does this include bullets to the face? Alright, where's he at? Oh god, there he is. No, you don't. 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 Uh... God damn it. Where are you? How about no? Stop it! I've had enough of you. Here, heal me. Oh. What's this? Thing? Anyway, I'm gonna make the assumption that I was supposed to just run through. Because <laughs> this place looks like it's chaos. Dead guy. Oh, shoot. Yeah, this place is falling to chaos. Oh, what do we got in here? Oh, somebody's got inappropriate mag. But you're out in the middle of an oil rig, so, you know, that makes sense. You need something. The uh, the oh, I've got the situation. He looks dangerous. No, you don't. Ow. Ah. Oh, my God. Oh, whoopsies. All right. So I'm just going to try and run my way through. This. But I think everybody's just oh distracted. God. Oh, that body had a satchel on it. Oh, well. Not fine. 
where'd he go? Red door or the white door? Let's do the ah, fuck! Maybe that was the right one. I don't know. I'm gonna go this way. Come through. Eh. Eh. Gosh darn it. Maybe I picked the wrong door. Probably picked the wrong door. Let's go with the other one. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again. Let's suck. No! 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 I got a data stick apparently. Uh, let's let's see what that says. It's unreal to think of what's coming, especially living here. They're so arrogant, so secure. It's amazing to see the, uh, the way the war is treated on the news here. So different from what I hear from you. The U.S. media, no doubt under the thumb of the government, is determined to call every American death in Georgia the result of friendly fire. As if somehow that's more palatable. I can't understand it all. Uh, I am eager to... Okay, uh, I am eager to begin this. Oh, great. Radicalized murder! Hello. Yeah, no, no, falsely. Anyway, now let's try this guy. Oh. Apparently I picked the right door. <laughs> Fine. <sighs> Smooth sailing. <laughs> I see why this mission was frustrating. Because it very oh much just God. is, uh, you know, get. I mean, you know, funny enough, other Splinter Cell games have done uh, more or less the same thing that this game is attempting to do, except a tiny bit better. Oh, no, screw you. Nova, how you doing? I love how the soldiers are just shooting like just for random, uh, random games and stuff. Wow, I actually managed to grab that guy. <laughs> what the? All right. Anyway, just me. Owie. Okay. Um, this way, I guess. Oh, it's. Is this right? Oh. I'm pretty sure this is just looping back to where I was previously. Yeah. What the hell? What? Where are you? That's all on fire. Okay, the, I think the next objective is down this way. I guess. Oh, there, oh, there we go. What the heck? Why is that not working? Um, I think I'm doing okay. Problem. I I start. What's the mission? <laughs> What's my objective? Well, I don't even know if I'm doing like what I'm supposed to be doing here. Like I might be breaking this game, and I don't even. What did I miss? Um, a lot of explosions. Crap ton of them. Where am I going? So I think I can get up here. So, like, if, if this was actually happening, like, legitimately, like, pretty sure I would have um, thoroughly lost up to this. Okay, I can I can cheat my way up there and then I'm fairly certain this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, alright. What about Man, come out. Then there's gotta be something over here then. Oh hey, there's no satchel. Hey! What's on it? Data stick. Please help me. 
Can you believe this? I goddamn hate this garbage. Not only do we gotta deal with the media focusing on unmanned drones like, uh, the Raptor, but now we gotta do the work for them and still get no credit? When flesh and blood men here risk their lives, I goddamn hate it. Some PR desk flunky realizes uh, cities are gonna be happier about a war without American casualties, and now we all see on the news is remote ki uh, control kill bots. It's even worse than Afghanistan. I'm sick to death of it. Mm. Yeah, no, that, that's not happening in real life. That's, that's not commentary on anything in particular. Anyway. Where are you? I still hear people running around and like screaming upstairs. I'm fairly certain that like that door is still jammed. That way is blocked. That way is on fire. I don't want to. Oh wait, no, the gate here opened up. I don't think this is open now that I think about it. I'm guessing I gotta go up here. No, you don't. Also, you're running in place. You're very talented. Where are you? We have you surrounded. Disposable pick. Why is that just sitting around here? <laughs> Where are you? Oh, wait, have I ever been here? Wait a minute. Pretty sure I was here. I recognize that nudie mag. <laughs> was it downstairs? Was I supposed to go downstairs? Like, I think one of those gates wasn't available at one point. Maybe I'm just crazy. Where are you? Oh no, no, I I recognize this. Okay, those boats are dead. <laughs> okay, I'm confused. I am lost. Collect briefcase by any means necessary. Well, Come out. pretty sure I will not be able to get it at this point. Yeah. Like, whoever whoever was there with the briefcase is probably long gone. This place is still like I'm on an oil rig. Can we can we bring that up again? This is an oil rig, so everything is very much on fire, and things are going to explode and become much worse. I am in a terrible circumstance. <laughs> this is not a good place to be lost. The only thing I can think is like, you know, there's that one guy who's just constantly screaming upstairs. Maybe I should just go take care of him. He's annoying the heck out of me. bullets taken directly to the foot. I can open this door. That's neat. Where are you? Here. Oh, a med kit. Hey, nice. We have you surrounded. Ah! <laughs> More of the nudie mag. Um. Where are you? Sam's feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Stay back. I think, um, yeah, this is where all, like, the data stuff was. Okay. And I... Again, there wasn't anything that was, like, salvageable, right? Okay. That guy's knocked out for some reason. 
Alright, let me try and pay very close attention to, like, where things go here. Damn, finally got you. Run. Go! Alright, let's all pay very close attention to what happens. I wish I was able to, like, you know, snake underneath this stuff, maybe. Hmm. Where are you? Where am I? Isn't that one satchel? Oh, there. <laughs> it's like, let's try things. I've been surprised before. She's <laughs> hand oh, fire. Don't know if anybody has ever heard of this. I've got the situation. Oh, oh shut up. up. Ah. Die. Give me this out. Okay, my health is not doing great. Took a lot of bullets directly to the bridge. What was the voice direction of giving, you know, just like talking to Michael Ironside? It's like, okay, what I want you to do is I want you to make like this really uncomfortable sound effect that sounds like you're being pleasured by the med kit instead of actually being healed by it. Oh, there he is! Shoot! Go! Oh, he's going down! That's where he went! Hey, you scumbag! Stop! Stop! In the name of love! Hey, cut it out! <laughs> okay, uh, let me grab a satchel first. I got here. Mr. Mass, don't get me wrong. I'm perfectly willing to try tapping Little uh, Bird for Arc Intelligence, but I don't think it'll do any good without the key. I'll get whatever I can, but I really think Nicolods will need men inside the Presidential Palace, which is obviously impossible considering the current state of affairs. But I will do my best, and whatever is possible to retrieve from the oil rig, I'll get it. Well, kind of screwed up that mission. Great job, Fisher. Time to make yourself scarce. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was the mission. I believe that mission is 20 times harder when you don't have the ability to save scum. Because <laughs> I, I think that one specifically, I think, pissed me off majorly back when I was younger. Alrighty then. How much longer is this gonna take? Your daughter's on the line. Just running the encryption. Black hell! What's up, Grip? The data you glommed off the rig. There's no way the Georgians could have gotten this much intel without a man inside the CIA. Fisher, you're up. Sarah! Dad? Sarah. Hi. Where are you? On my way home. I thought you were gonna call last week. Something came up. I'm sorry. That's all right. Were you in Georgia? Honey, you know I can't answer that. Yeah, I know. I was just watching it on TV. Oh! Sarah. Sarah! Oh, no, I had you kidnapping again. Or 
for an EMP. What went down? Grimstar, Wilkes, you okay? I think so. Hope everybody's all right back there. We just had a faulty collision warning. I've never seen anything like it. The entire herd went haywire. Anybody have a line back to Third Echelon? I'm here, Fisher. What the hell's going on? Nicolas just declared war on the U.S. What? The Georgians hit our communications, transportation, power grids. We still don't know how extensive the damage is. What's our defense? What are we doing? What do we have? Nicolad's caught us with our pants down. All we've got is the laptop you pulled off the oil rig. My daughter. I know, I know. I I've got people heading over there. This whole country's a mess. I need to see Sarah. You know what you need to do. We're helpless until we find Nicolad's. You're heading for the CIA. Your mission just became critical. Oh, he's always been a good father. At the Red Bear Army Community <laughs> that, that has Hospital always been a like, major part of his character. 17 and deaths and over 30 injuries. Both county electricity and backup oh, generators Did, were You seriously filmed, Meaning, like, the... <laughs> military train <traveling laughs> Did you see that? They filmed, like, the, um, you know, the readout of somebody's pulse after as it was dying. <laughs> and just be like, oh, this will make good TV. Like <laughs> U.S. military has not released the contents of the train's cargo, though federal authorities have evacuated a 20-mile radius surrounding the wreckage. Though no official death toll has been given, initial reports indicate the deaths of over 40 enlisted men. Potential civilian casualties are believed to be much lower. Newspapers talking about cyber terrorism, an information crisis, information warfare. Call it what you will, but realize that no American is safe until we mobilize our army. Rescue workers, their information Give us blood, entirely damn it. disabled, were unable to respond to the crash for nearly an hour. Injuries became fatalities as... To combine Nicolades, the Georgian president's still in hiding. Though his first wave of cyber terrorism focused on military targets, intelligence proposes that a large-scale civilian target could just as easily... We have faced terror before and triumphed. I promise here to the American people that we will triumph again. Earth is too small a place for the perpetrators of these acts to hide. The United States and her allies will enact a justice that is swift, true, and absolute. Shoot. And also, yes, day before Halloween. Man, <laughs> this is the spookiest thing that could have happened. And also, this mission is taking place on Halloween. So, uh, happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs> Time to get to work, Fisher. Let me reiterate. We cannot afford any casualties. The NSA doesn't operate in the U.S. We don't spy on other agencies. I'm not here. That's right. You've lost existence privileges until the mission's over. <laughs> We've synced a timer on your offset to a pause in the ventilation system fans. You'll have a limited window of opportunity to use it for insertion. I love that term. You have lost your existence privileges. <laughs> Freaking great. All right. Um, well, we had an autosave, so we should be good for now. Anyway... Oh, yay. Hello, security guard. I seem to remember this is one of my personal favorite missions, mainly because the concept of, like, you know, breaking into the NSA and stealing a bunch of, like, you know, um, government documents and, you know, spy spying on the NSA. Or, no, not NSA, CIA. The idea of, like, breaking into the CIA sounds absolutely, like, amazing. Oh. Hello. You okay, buddy? <laughs> You're twitching on that tree, dude. Uh, here. We're gonna go and have, um... Oh, shoot! I only have a limited amount of time here. Um, okay. You, you, you hang out over there. That's right, I remember this. No time to goof off. I gotta get up here. Uh... 30 seconds. Oh, where's the gap? Where's the gap in the, uh... There it is. Maybe I shouldn't have knocked that guy out. <laughs> it occurs to me that maybe... Maybe that was not something I should have done. Oh. Okay, where's the door? Can't tell. Which, which one of these is, uh... Oh, dang, I'm gonna run out of time, aren't I? Mission's failing before I'm even beginning. Hey, 
You're gonna have to find some way besides the AC vent to get inside. The fan just kicked back in. Shoot. Okay. Well, I mean, at least the uh, the mission isn't over. <laughs> this game does that a lot, where they're just like, "Oh, you fucked up." <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. Well, I gotta say, this rain is really obscuring my vision. Like, I'm sure it looked real good back in the day, and I'm sure they were real proud of it, but... My God. There we go. Alright, how do I not get caught by these guys? What was that? Nothing. I wonder if those guys are paying attention. What is that? There's something Nothing. back there. Y'all don't see a thing. Genius. <laughs> okay. I don't know whether or not they can hear me knocking anybody out, so I'm a little nervous about that. One of our people has been attacked. No, he hasn't. <laughs> oh, it's still my favorite thing. Maybe it was nothing. Yeah, maybe it was nothing. Oh, man. I'm losing it. Was that what, the third night shift? Oh, dear. Nap. Luckily, they didn't raise any alarms, so I'm still good. <laughs> ah, that was great. Anyway, uh, you get to sleep with your friend. There you go. Very nice. Okay, so I got to get into the NSA. I'm assuming, can I, can I get through the front door at this point? Hmm. Unless maybe they, did they have some sort of like a key card or... Let me see. Any of you guys have a satchel or anything on you? I don't think so. What if I break into this car and smash it through the windows? Also, look at like the, the metallic texture on this car and tell me this isn't a game from 2000. Like, it, it looks like a paper mache project that happened to also be shellacked. <laughs> I'm not going to be, you know, it, it's a thing of its time, okay? I'm not going to pretend like somehow, like, you know, it's, this is the top quality of what it was back then. Anyway, where do I go from here? I'm going to check the door again real quick. Um... It almost looks like these are, like, operatable doors. And I don't know if, like, maybe one of the security guards has the ability to, um... Is it, like, a... Can I take the body and, like, is it a, um... Thing where they have some kind of a sensor on them that'll open the door for me? Possible. <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> I should probably grab the one that's all the way out here. It's just... Uh, sorry, dude. You were the first victim. I'm gonna assume maybe there's a way that I can still get through that. I just need to figure it out. Uh, if I can't figure it out, there is always an autosave. I can always go back to it, but... Honestly, I always succeeded in uh, managing to get through the vent um, way, so... I actually didn't know there was another way to get into the building. So that's different. Repeat last transition. Da 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 da. Well, okay, I might as well. Everybody is just hanging out in the rain. They will likely die of exposure to the elements. But it's fine. It's good. No, I, I am non lethal here. I've done a good job. 
Maybe I can just shoot the, uh... <laughs> can I just shoot the fans? And how does one get... Uh, so, hold on. So this is like the AC unit, right? No way in there. Um... Open any of these? Freaking weird. What about that one? Hup. Ah. Uh, somehow I doubt this. Is oh, wait. Hang it. Why did that have to be so freaking difficult? Hmm. Let's see. I can't help but notice they have not even given me a gun. <laughs> what the hell? What do you mean? Uh... <laughs> Instant death by fan. It's great. All right, we, we know how to do it now. Time to get to work, Fisher. Let me reiterate. We cannot afford any casualties. The NSA doesn't operate in the U.S. We don't spy on other agencies. I'm not here. That's right. You've lost existence privileges until the mission's over. We've synced a timer on your offset to a pause in the ventilation system fans. You'll have a limited window of opportunity to use it for insertion. I'm good. Good man. Don't worry about it. So could I jump up there from here? Nope. Uh, that seems to be... That seems to be the challenge. Making sure you can jump from here to here. Stop! Damn it! I'm a little worried about them, like, turning. And turning their heads. And being like, what the heck is that jumping around over there? Dang it! Ah! Oh! Actually, wait, that's one way I can do this. Up! Keep! Uh, I forgot. That's a thing that's possible with this. It's just like no other Splinter Cell games used that. Anyway. What was that? What do you mean, what was that? <laughs> God, great start. All right. Access the CIA central server. You know, no big deal. Wait to make sure that the uh, wherever or whoever that was. Is that you? Oh, one thing I really like my, my favorite thing in Splinter Cell games is when like you're in pure black darkness Must and have like been nothing. You just you feel like such a god. You know what I mean? Another one. I think I'm supposed to get down from here, from like over here, maybe. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Possible. I think I need to go through that gate next. Now, once again, this mission doesn't allow me to get like a gun, so that means I have to be purely sneaky snake to make this happen. Which is possible, I guess. God, the music in this game. <laughs> it's so, like, ooh. Mysticism. Anyway. The snake time, it begins. All right. I don't think anyone's going to walk through that door. Probably. Oh. I don't even need to use the door. Junction box. What? Where? Oh, oh, there he is. <laughs> I was just like, how, how bad of luck did I have that I happened to like, you know, run into one dude who's just, you know, minding his own dang business. Oh dear. 
Oh dear. Well, you're a little daft. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, come on, friend. Max stealth strikes it. Funny enough, again, I wasn't even at like the the max on my, uh, you know, the darkness meter. <laughs> That's why I was nervous. I was just like, "There's no way you're not gonna see me." Huh. I am confusion. <laughs> anyway, you hang out over there. Meanwhile, I am going to make the CIA my bitch. Don't take that seriously. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, damn it. Okay, once again, I do not have a gun. Meaning that I just have to avoid that camera somehow. Mm -hmm. oh. Convenient little notches in the walls. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> Boy, it's trying. Time begins again. Do, 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 do. Anyway, we know this guy gonna be showing up. Take him out fairly easily. La la la. Well, I sure do love maintenance work. Oh God! <laughs> I knew I should have kissed my wife goodbye this morning. Help! Uh. Eat the man. <laughs> He's been thoroughly eaten, don't worry. Practical that they would, uh, shit. Very impractical that they would ever send out, like, an operative like this without a gun. So, lesson learned. There's some guys up there. Must be cautious. Uh, let's see. Um, wait a minute, wait. There we go. Can I get up there? This way? Who is that? Show your... Yep. I have one idea. Who's there? Absolutely nothing, sir. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, all right. Hmm. 
Technic I mean, that could work. I think I just need to do it while he's not there. Who is that? We have an Ow! <laughs> All you saw was hands. The first thing you saw was hands. Okay, maybe, maybe he's just like super alert. He's had at least five cups of coffee and he is absolutely jittery. Jumping at shadows. You should have no knowledge that there's any kinds of weird operatives in here whatsoever. Either that or he's just real good at this job. I'm not sure which one. It's oh my her. god! <laughs> okay. I'll give him that one. Um, I don't really have any other tools that I could use to uh, extract this guy. Not really. I can make my way up here. And, and then this area is nice and shadowy. Alright, so what is your movement pattern, buddy? Me at 5 a.m.? You per That shouldn't be you at 5 a.m. <laughs> mm, fifth cup. One cup per hour. Alright, buddy. What, 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 what's your mission? What's your objective? Good to see you. I, I'm going to assume that this... I, I'm guessing that that glass is probably, like, nice and frosted on, uh, you know. Blah! And so, you know. Otherwise, his buddies are assholes. <laughs> it's been like, hey, did Mick just get taken? <laughs> it's like, eh, who cares about him? Darling. I don't know how you can't be frightened. Let's at least wait until next week, uh, until we know that nothing else is going to happen. I know this will make you mad, but you being with the agency just makes me more worried. It makes me worried that the kids will be uh, a better target for the terrorists. DJ asked me this morning if the terrorists knew his Aunt Virginia is a police officer. I don't know. I can't think straight. Why haven't you called me yet? Call soon. Okay, well, good thing I didn't kill this guy. <laughs> Because, <laughs> boy, that would have been tragic. But it's okay. Father is just taking a nice little comfy nap. Hello, friend. Where are you going? Oh. Yeah, you're stopping right there. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do, but I'm going to make sure that you don't do it. Yo! Nap time. Also, I think another thing that's fun about playing uh, the CIA level is just the feeling of being in an environment that feels very familiar to you. Like, look, being on the war front is really fun and really nice, but... I do like the idea of just walking into a place that's clearly sort of set as a government building and being able to do this crazy stuff. Be the shadows. Anyway, I was on the computer. Data stick. Or what do we got? Come on. Mr. Sutton, where the hell did you manage to find those picks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a really in, in just, uh, mm, <laughs> sus way to start out this letter. That's the cleanest piece of intel I've seen in, the, uh, in this corner of the world since forever. Regardless, our search for Blaustein and Madison's corpse isn't going anywhere fast. We're trying to work with the Georgian police, but it's like working with vampires at a blood drive. Sergeant, um, Jesus Christ, can't lie faster than we can ask questions. I don't think we're e uh, ever going to see those bodies. Are those, like, pictures that I took? I don't even know. Ooh! Ring airfoil. Sticky shocker! You know what that means! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm looking forward to the, uh, the latter end of this mission. Anyway. 
Now might be a very convenient time to save. Um... There we go. Yeah, you see some folks. Funny enough, the, um... What is that? Ah, darn it. Um... That's as good as it's gonna get, I think. And shoot! <laughs> All right. Hmm. Okay, how do I do this without getting caught by the dude? I think this is a classic timing thing. Also, gotta be very careful because I'm sure that these things can like will definitely be set off. And that will definitely get their attention. Hello. We have an okay. okay. Well, lesson learned there. Something back there. Get caught on the door. Who are you? Dang it. <laughs> Thank God for quick saves. My God. All right. <laughs> can you imagine? I, I say that several times, but can you imagine just being at your job, not really caring, not really doing anything super special or important, and then suddenly a ninja? <laughs> You're just like, what the fuck? Who is that? Show yourself. You have an intruder. All right. The timing on this one has got to be precise, I feel. Either that or, like, I just skip past it, I guess. I could. Ninja jump scare. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What is your movement pattern going to do exactly? Because he seems to, like, be moving in sort of an L pattern. You know, he, he starts up, he starts off going like, you know, I'm trying to figure out like, what would be the, uh, the open time? Happy Halloween. Oh yeah, right. Ninja jumps. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I could just tell him that just like, happy Halloween. Look, I'm in costume. I totally work here. What are you talking about? He yelled out just a tiny bit. Apparently that was enough. Eh. Garbage.
need to. Hi, friend. You're making my life a living hell, you know that? Time to enjoy the ground. Alright. And I'll just... There we go. Nice and lined up. Little chance of someone finding the body. <laughs> Sus phrases, sus. Anyway. Also, hold up. Hey, turn the lights back on. Make me. It occurred to me I should probably save here. Um. This is why I enjoyed this game. <laughs> I love that just the, the the rotating door of like, hey, what is that? Who is that? Where'd that noise come from? <laughs> like, I, I, I like a good smart NPC, don't get me wrong. But like, there is something that can be said about an NPC that is dumber than a pile of bricks. You know one thing that was really obnoxious? I, I think I talked about this in the previous game. But I really hated the fact that the doors just automatically just closed themselves after a little bit of time. Well, that's annoying. Just keep the door open. And it was also annoying that, like, you can't open doors. I don't think you can open doors or close doors as you are, um, you know, doing your mission. There you go. I love silly, <laughs> silly NPCs. Like, what was that noise? Guess it was nothing. What was that noise? Guess it was nothing. What was that noise? I don't remember how I um, completed this mission, you know, back when I first played it. But... I think the entirety of the lobby is now open and free for me to explore, which is awesome. Woo! What is this? Sputnik! Rad. Now what's my objective? I think I'm supposed to like go through there. Yeah, probably. Oh yeah, these are the, this is the front door. Darn it! I was so, how was I supposed to get through here otherwise? Anyway, pretty sure this is the way I'm supposed to go. So. Ah, confounded. However, <laughs> that won't stop me. I'm not gonna lie, I am like really tempted to learn how to do like proper lock picking. Just because like, you know, the, the skill just seems so fun to learn, you know what I mean? Hello! Hi, God. Is the crappiest security camera I've ever seen. 
been here haven't i yeah yeah there's the, the bodies see <laughs> body proof that i've been here hold up huh am i supposed to go through here then i guess yeah it's kind of the um the only way that i have not gone yet it's good that i took care of all the um <clears throat> other npcs first just to make sure that like if i go through here and this metal detector goes off Oh. Well, I had nothing to worry about then. <laughs> uh, lesson learned. Are you going to be staying at the hospital? You mean when she wakes up? Listen, thanks for coming in. I know the last thing you want to be doing at a time like this is answering questions. We couldn't assume it was a coincidence. Thanks for your understanding. Let me know if there's anything we can do. Can I ask you a question? Hello? What in the hell is that? Might be a blessing in disguise. Nobody freak out. See? It worked out. Uh, that corner looks particularly shadowy. I think it'd be neat to ha like own a, uh, a pair of Sam Fisher's goggles. I think that'd be neat. I have never owned them. Uh, like, I want a pair of Sam Fisher's goggles that actually work. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want, I want it to look all gaudy and like and, and cool looking on the front, and then also have the functionality of Sam Fisher's goggles. And I think it'd be a cool set piece, and also it'd be fun to just say, like, you know, walk around with it. You know. Um, I'm guessing I need to, like, follow him up the elevator. Don't mind me, just, you know, crazy operative. Nothing weird going on. Hum, 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 hum. That's a wall. Oh. Ooh. Save. Just got word from our man inside. He says your F-2000's in place. You can retrieve it in the storage room behind the generator backup. Goody. I'd be ignorant not to arm you and keep it wholesome. One agency fatality means the mission's over. Why did you not <laughs> hack me with that to begin with? Seriously. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, it is so frustrating. This is like, oh, no, 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 no. This is a non-lethal mission, so therefore we cannot let you have the gun. It's like, you realize that I use the gun for several other things aside from shooting people, right? Like, you know, the, the funny bullets. The, you know, like, the, the funny bullets, like, you know, shooting light bulbs and things. And, you know, specifically, the 20K that's capable of, you know, firing the non-lethal rounds. Hmm? You ever think of that? Did you consider this? What a, Jesus. What a sad office this would be to, like, work in. Uh, anyway. I don't like it when there's lights on, so I'm just shutting that off. Mm. 
I wonder what this guy's uh, pattern of movement is. Flew a little bit close to the sun there. <laughs> just got word from our man inside. I was just like, "This will work out." Place. You can retrieve it in the storage room behind right. the generator backup. Goody. I'd be ignorant not to arm you, but keep it holstered. One agency fatality means the mission's over. How about that? Here's a gun. Don't use it. <laughs> All right. We'll sleep in the corner. Does he like, does he stop to grab a soda? Howdy. Oh dear. Okay. That's gonna complicate things. That's also complicating things. I think I saw something. I think I've got a heavily armed 1014. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, heavily armed. Wait, heavily armed. What do you mean? I'm not armed at all. Just got word from our man inside. He says your F2000. I literally in place. don't have arms. You can retrieve it in the storage room behind the generator backup. Goody. I'd be ignorant <laughs> not to arm you, but keep it holstered. One agency fatality means the mission's over. Get over here. I'm gonna try and go into that other side room. Because I'm curious to see what's in there. I sleep in school. I mean probably shouldn't do that. Education is important. Take it from me, someone who took very little care for their education. And look at me now. Ooh, what's this? Computer. Okay. Uh, note added from data stick. Hey! Also, 2019. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, got several data sticks. Let me see, the newest one. Thanks for staying on for the extra shift. We're all gonna have to pull a lot more than our weight this year, uh, this un until this blows over, rather. Um, we were doing maintenance. Uh, the main server room door will be set to 2019. With the heightened security, we'll be changing the codes three times daily. I'll get you on the mailing list before the next code change. Thanks again. All righty. So that entire area over there is just a, uh, you know, a big old dead zone for a lot of potential chaos. Good. It's not ideal, but it looks like we're covered. Like I said, this is Titus. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Jesus. <sighs> Fine. Just got word from our man inside. He says your F2000's in place. You can retrieve it in the storage room behind the generator backup. Goody. I'd be ignorant not to arm you, but keep it holstered. One agency fatality means the mission's <laughs> over. All right, I've failed several times here. <laughs> I think it's time to start, like, you know, leaving good saves and also not be so um, brazen when it comes to my uh, my positioning. I will get back that code. I do. Th I think I will be safe as long as I like hug this wall. Probably. We'll see. Good. It's not ideal, but it looks like we're covered. Like I said, this is tight as security gets unless Congress admits we can't run this place on pocket change. You said it wasn't critical. It's not. I think we can maintain. You're sure? I, yeah, I'm sure. I'm just tired. Overtime? I'm on hour 15. Hey, it's a crisis, the lights man. back on. Crunch time. Meaning I gotta get back to it. I'll see you around. How was he able to tell that the lights were even? <gasps> hmm. Very, 
very curious. But he's just like, hey, you gotta keep the lights in that, uh, you know, that particular cubby off at all times. I can see these things. Yeah, hearing people say... People have, like, terrible opinions about you all the time. I, I've been through that. I know what you mean. But the good news, and um, this will definitely be a lot more prevalent as you get older, you learn not to care. Y you learn that people can have their stupid opinions about you, and people can say that Please that... Note, there is no longer a smoking section in the cafeteria. All smoking is restricted to designated smoking terraces on the fifth floor. What if you've got a smoking hot body? Does that count? <laughs> anyway. I wouldn't know. I'm literally made of water. What's in here? Ah, hell. I think I heard him. No, you didn't. <coughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> anyway. Okay, I need to be careful because there's some people that are still like walking around here. Anyway, like I was saying, um, as you get older, you learn like a lot of the things that people talk Hello, about you don't really actually matter in the grand scheme of things. Especially the stupid high school drama. The stupid high school drama, like, was completely worthless and didn't really amount to anything. Which is stupid because at the time, you know, when, when you're a young teen, you think that that high school drama is everything. You, you think that, like, oh, God, I mean, if I'm not somebody in high school, then, you know, like, who am I? Holy crap. Oh. But then as you get older, you find out, oh, hey. Who I was in high school really didn't matter. So, I take a little bit of solace. You know, it's not really about any of the things people say about you. It's what you say about you. I don't understand. What? What do you mean, what do you don't? What do you don't understand? I don't understand. What? What don't you understand? Huh? this guy doing? Did he notice that his buddy ain't there, or like what? Uh-oh. Hey, are you okay? Yes. He's fine. It's time for you to stop asking questions. Anyway. <laughs> oh, the door is locked. Hmm. You okay? Huh? Now, looking back, I'm remembering, like, all kinds of really annoying things that I did when I was uh, when I was younger. Specifically involved with, like, caring way too much about whether or not people liked me. Thank you for the good words. No problem. Again, as somebody who dealt with, like, bullying and also feeling awkward in high school and middle school. I, I get it. I get what that feels like. And it ain't fun. But I actually remember, like, I actually remember, like, having emotional moments where I'm just sitting there just being like, what is wrong with me? Like, what am I doing wrong? Like, why don't I have people that like me as much as other people? Like, I'm, I'm not the popular kid. It sucks. It's just like, I don't know. What, what do I do? What do I say? How do you talk to people? How do you, how do you be a person? And then as I got older, I'm just like, oh, I get it. I just didn't really identify with anybody because I was different. And that's fine. And on top of that, like, you know, being different and having, like, you know, d different hobbies or just, you know, different mindsets, different headspaces, like, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. And also, it ain't 100% important to have, like, a, a giant, massive group of friends or being popular. Whatever. Funny enough, 
popularity is one of those things that kind of like ebbs and dips and dives as you uh, as you age and like you know get older. And also, popularity differs depending on what the age you are too. Like you know your interpretation of what popularity is uh, when you are like 14 is going to be massively different when you're like 25, and then it's going to be in entirely different by the time you reach like 30 something or other like and when you're 40 a pop popularity contest is kind of they either don't exist or they only exist within caddy stupid people i don't want to be too rude but like that that really is what it is i think and also on top of that there are some people that they don't age out of high school that's another thing you should probably point out like some people still get this idea that the things that were important in high school are still important when you're an adult and if you have, like, you know, if you have a decent head on your shoulders, you learn that, like, no, it's really not. Public school for me was bad, but now I'm doing a lot better in uh, comparison. Yeah. Oh, I can tell you, like, there's a lot of things that I just um, suddenly don't really care about. <laughs> and it's great. That looks like a pretty wide window of opportunity to grab that guy. Who's that pretty girl in? That me or that? <laughs> anyway, give me that satchel. Look at that server room in there. Man, I've always wanted to have a house that like had that kind of an aesthetic. Of like, you know, cybernetic like super security. Well, guess what? You're getting in the janitor's closet like all your friends. All right, all right. Shut that off. So, uh, is there anything in here I should know about? I don't think so. Funny thing about, like, the early Splinter Cells is that, like, they really badly wanted you to, uh, like, scrounge for materials, which is weird. <laughs> like, you would think that, like, a, a government-run agency would just give you the tools you needed. Which, luckily, the future uh, Splinter Cell games, they, they did hand you all the things that you actually needed in order to play it. So, like, and, like, you know, I don't know. There was something kind of cool about um, actively picking stuff up, you know? Yeah. No, I, I agree, Nova. And, like, that absolutely sucks. And it ain't cool. But, again, yet you really have to, like, think about it from a wide, a, a wide scale kind of thing. Or at least, like, in my opinion. Um, yeah, you kind of have to look at it like, What's their opinion? Is their opinion really going to matter all that much in the grand scheme of things? Like, how is their interpretation of you going to matter in, like, five years' time, ten years' time, fifteen years' time? Is it really going to, like, you know... Is it going to do anything? Is it going to be an important part of your life? Probably not. It's going to suck in the moment. I'm not going to pretend like it doesn't suck now. Absolutely it does. But there is a little bit of solace in knowing that at the end of the day, all the crap that they're complaining about, not important. Not stuff you have to worry about. You do you. You keep enjoying what you enjoy. Uh, what was that one code? Wasn't that 2019? I thought it was 2019. Oh, technical service room is 7687. Um, was that on a new data stick that I just didn't read? I think so. I'll get that keypad installed on the technical service room door before the end of the day today. I'll be right outside your window. Let me know if I'm bugging you. The default code will be 7687, but you should change it on eight-hour shifts until they cut down the level of alert. If we get any days off this week, right, uh, we should do something. God knows I'm going to need a drink after this. Ah, uh, well, 
Hopefully Dan can go and get that drink. Anyway, uh, 7687A. There we go. Also, don't you love, like, the weird... <laughs> the sound effect they decided to use for, like, these uh, keypads? Like, s some weird, um... Yeah, beep beep, and then it, like, unclasps some weird, like, air-compressed thing. <laughs> like, what? That doesn't make any sense. But it certainly sounds cool. Oh, hello, friend. Uh, before I go after this guy, look, I, I've been doing pretty good. So we're going to save, and we're going to call this one, um... Funny Doors, yes? Oh, there's two guys in here. Is Guy 2 going to notice? Frickin' genius. <laughs> you hang. I will properly take care of you in a moment. What even is security? <laughs> I do like... So, in the later uh, Splinter Cell games, they do a really good job of giving these guys, like, scared, terrified faces as they're being carried around. Which is funny because, like, all the NPCs right now just kind of look like they're bored and having, like, you know... <laughs> it's like, it's a living... That's been taken care of. Uh, what else? Do we got anything else going on in here? Probably not. I'm gonna switch the light switch. Because, you know. Darkness and all that. Ooh. Hold up. Computer. Uh, data stick. Looks like we're going to be in for a long one again tonight. If you want to hit the cafeteria for a coffee later, I'll be in the battery room next door. Let yourself in. I might not be able to hear uh, you for the hum. The door code this shift is <clears throat> 110598. Is it? Is, is, is that this one? Oh, wait. Did I type that in wrong? Hold on. 110... Oh. All right, one one zero five nine eight. There we go. Hey, voiceless, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. The sneaks are happening and they're fun. Okay. Zero J dash eight six seven five three zero seven. Zero J dash eight six seven five three zero eight. Zero. I think you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> they found me. Ah, funny doors, yes? Going good today. I was going pretty decent. Yeah. I mean, any day is a good day when I get to, uh, you know, play funny Splinter Cell game. Shoot! <laughs> they noticed me there. Okay, he does have the capability of hearing that. Darn. <laughs> I'm learning all kinds of things about this. All the things I did to, like, make that safe. Turns out they were all required. You know, like, knocking him out far away. So that his buddy didn't notice. We all learn at our own pace. Alright, you can stay there. I'll take care of the other guy now. Well, shoot. 
The only stealth game I have had recommended to me ever by Steam was, like, disgusting. Um, well, st stealth uh, games are kind of a dying breed, kind of. I mean, they technically do exist, but usually oh. stealth is something that is, like, layered into a game that's already pre-established. Not a whole lot of people, like, play stealth games for the sake of stealth games. Like, they don't play for the sake of the sneak. It's more like, you know, you'll have one mission where the entire point is sneak. It's weird. And it makes me sad, because I'm like, I like this kind of a game. <laughs> you know, it, it's fun being, being very sneaky and, like, just, you know, worming your way around an establishment. And this one specifically has got government espionage, which is really neat. All right. Um, so what was the code again? Um, five, nine, eight. Yeah, there we go. Uh, before we go through this door, let's save, eh? Save, eh? Okay. Zero J dash eight six seven five three zero seven. Zero J dash eight six seven five three zero eight. Zero J dash eight six seven six three. Hold up. Oh man. Okay. Zero J dash eight six seven five three zero five. Zero J dash eight. What the hell? Uh oh. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Also, the save file changed to safe. Can you not have, uh, you know, okay. that other stuff? 0J-8675307. 0J-8675308. 0J-8676. Hold up. Oh, man. Okay. 0J-8675305, 0J-8675306, 0J-8675307. I don't understand. Oh, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> sure. Okay. I would like to say for the record again, Nova. Nova is a very strong word. I, well, actually, no. Um, yeah, idle is a very strong word. One that I would not recommend. Hold up. I'm just a person, like every other person out there. Zero J dash eight six seven five. Idolizing people is like a very dangerous slope to like, you know, putting a little bit too much like. Uh, what's a good way to put it? Too much stake into somebody, I think. Can I hide this guy? I do appreciate the words, but <laughs> I'm not that special. Do not idolize the bubble deck. Get a bubble guy, right? Bubble boy. Okay, hopefully I can take care of the other guy without too much trouble here. I do up here. Bend on everything. Okay, th there is one opening, it seems. What are they inspecting in here, anyway? What are they, I I like, alphabetizing? God, I wish this camera didn't suck. <laughs> Come on, 
You're going to come back over here? What is your movement pattern right now? Come on. All right. Oh, you're eating popcorn? Jealous. There we go. Hey, bud. How's it going? How's your day? How's it going? I, you having a good day? How's your wife? How's the kids? <laughs> I gotta say, I, in Splinter Cell 3, they added so much extra dialogue that you could do with the interrogations with these guys, and it was so nice. Imagine if the boxes were filled with Kirby's. But maybe they are. You'll never know. Maybe they're counting all the, uh, <laughs> you know, all of the weird Kirby manifestations that exist. They're all classified Kirby documents. Anything else in here? I don't think so. The ultimate weapons. Yep. Our government is keeping them secret from us. We must not know. Okay. That's a good time to do a little bit of a save. Um. Um. friend. Yay! And a couple extras. Wait! Yay! I have me, uh, I have a, a, a shooty. Dark. And then I can pick and choose a couple things. Uh, sticky camera, sticky shockers, and, uh, ring airfoil rounds, which I believe do the exact same job as the, uh, sticky shockers, except less funny. <laughs> So, I'm happy. Oh, joy. Uh, I want to be selective with using them, though. Like, I want to yeah, use them in... I guess. Do you know anybody who was hurt? Man. Oh, Hopefully you were alone. I think he was alone. <laughs> Good. Well, you're coming with me. <laughs> you know anybody who was hurt? Yeah, you. Yeah, there's my gun. Injured? Good. <laughs> Random medical kit on the... Uh... But they really expect people to get hurt at these facilities because they got a ton of medical kits everywhere. Okay, server room, security station B, and two doors that I don't think I can even interact with. So, Yahoo. Authorized personnel only. I'll be the judge of that. Fisher, GPS shows you within sight of the server. Grim's daughter's standing by. She'll be ready to trace the leak as soon as you can get us access. All right. Well, here's this guy. Uh, I... Oh, man. I mean, I got the equipment. <laughs> I can use it. Absolutely. I think I'm going to do a little bit of a save here. Um... Boink. Sticky shocker. Neat. And I believe the to shoot it, it's probably like, you know, right click, likely. Hope so. Guess we're gonna have to test. Yeah! Good night! <laughs> I found a man unconscious. No, you didn't. Uh, too bad. Let's go, boys. I'm gonna stuff you, uh, stuff you in one of these cubicles. Oh, come on! What? Seriously? 
is so stupid. Open door. Body. Boink. Somewhat celebrating because I'm at my ideal weight and size. Ah, oh, nice! Good for you! Love yourself! Three cheers for goals, man! It's a heck of a feeling to be like, ah, oh, I'm I'm actually at a place where like I enjoy with the way that I look. He's great. Right, ignore the fact that these guys' heads are uh, poking to the wall there. Nothing weird with that, that at all. Okay, I don't think there's anybody else walking around. Hope not. Data stick. What do we got? Hey, Mom. What time will we be home? Should I wait for dinner? Everything I'm seeing on television is scaring me, and I'd rather not be alone in the house tonight. Uh, will you be home? Less. Damn it. He's asleep on the job. Yeah. <laughs> it's... Oh. Hello. Nothing. Wow. You really believe me when I said nothing? <laughs> I didn't think you were that daft. Jesus. Good night. I kind of miss, like... <laughs> What, when Sam had a pistol on him, you know, he just held the gun directly up to your head. It's like, good luck, idiot. Sure, cry for help. See if that'll happen. <laughs> See if that'll help you. Okay. Now, caution. I don't know how... Caution was a good move. Does this guy ever turn around? Oh god. Hello. <laughs> That's just your coworker. Don't worry about it. Hello. Hello. Well, I don't ah. understand. I made a mistake. Wasted one of my sticky shockers. That sucks. But it uh, could have been worse, I guess. Too much coffee. I'm getting jittery. Good man. Good man. Coffee ain't good for you, man. Shouldn't have done what you did. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's take this guy and hide him in the same place everybody else is. I could technically shoot out a bunch of the lights in here, but eh, I prefer not to. Because, you know. Not necessary. Not needed. Also, pay no mind to the fact that, like, 
I just, I, I drop everybody. Instead of like gently put, po po I could technically gently put down any of these NPCs if I wanted to. I'm choosing not to. <laughs> I hope you realize this. Imagine if someone just saw a pile of bodies. This is exactly what, I mean, first of all, I do it because it's sort of like, you know, it's efficient and I can guarantee that yes, nobody will likely find them if I put them all in like one specific shady spot that nobody will find. I also put them in one specific spot because I love the image of like somebody walking into work the next day and that's their cubicle. And they're just like, oh my God, Jerry, George, Peter, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like, they're flipping their lids like, I don't know what's happening, what happened? How long have you been out? <laughs> okay, so that's everybody in there taken care of. Uh, oh, now we have the bathrooms. Oh boy, oh boy, early Terminal Jesus. access will be restricted to users and administrators until further notice. Good for you. Hmm. Don't know how to sneak past this guy without like some kind of a distraction or with tools. Um, pretty sure all these doors are not available. I'll check the bathrooms real quick. Yes, both of them. I need to be thorough. Howdy, yo-yo. Okay, yeah, it, it, it's one of these old games, so it's time to inspect the toilets and see whether or not they're, like, clean. Because, you know, developers back then were really, really cheeky when it came to these toilets. Hmm. Okay, surprisingly, it's very clean in these rooms. Didn't expect that. Are there any health packs? You know, the one place I feel like a health pack would make sense to be in is the bathroom, and yet for some reason it's not in there. What? Come on. Also, what's this? I don't know. Anyway, server room. Let's go ahead and drop a little bit of save here. Server time. Let's go. Anti static chamber. Two keypads. Gotta figure out what those uh, those numbers. I think I think I got the, the numbers sitting somewhere. What were they? Let me look at. Um... Ooh, thank you. That's cool. All right. Um, main server room code twenty nineteen. Let, let let's try that. Oh, don't don't shoot it. Hey, all right, nice. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What, what about this door? Is this also 2019? Oh, shoot. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Eating bread right now. Tasty. Okay, both of them work. Let's... This one's a little bit shadier. Okay. Is there anybody in here? Um, I don't see anyone. Okay. Hi.
He's doing his rounds. Oh, there's two guys in there. No, it's not the cleanest way to take care of everybody, but, uh... All right! <laughs> I'm just imagining, like... Yeah, you ever see, like, um, that one... That one video clip of, uh... Oh, God, I forget. The one dude who's just slapping everybody at the party? <laughs> That's what I'm imagining that, that just was. Just like... Oh, my God, who's that? They're fucked! Holy shit! <laughs> it's a ninja! It's like, someone stop it! <laughs> it's like, doesn't anyone have a gun? fairly certain that my objective is in there. So, let's see. Ah, yes. Funny red computer. All right, Lambert. Slap the fools. We're in. Good. Grim? I'm inside. Just there. The leak is a low-security PC registered to one Mitchell Doherty. Great. Doherty's PC is your new objective, Fisher. I'll upload the details to your opsat. Okie dokie. All right. That went ten times smoother than I thought it would. <laughs> All right. My phones are just ringing off the hook. Doing their own thing. Uh, all right, so Dorothy. I hear something. Do you? Do tell. There's an armed man inside Langley. <laughs> I thought I was being sneaky there. Oh, oops. Did I load the wrong one? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oops. Yeah, don't do that. Anyway. I hear something. Luckily, he was alone. <laughs> I'm carrying too many metal. Whoa! <laughs> that does not exist. There is never enough medical kits. Okay, maybe maybe there is. But <laughs> anyway, um, do these things set off when? Yep. Okay. <laughs> that could have been cleaner anyway. So. Uh... I 
think I heard a noise. What was that noise? I think I need to go through the odd window slash hole there in order to actually get through. Actually, funny enough, this dude seems to like turn around just as he reaches like here. So I think like this would be safe. What was that noise? Metal Gear Solid. Hello, sir. Would you like a cup of tea? You're coming with me. Are there light switches in the bathroom? Because I think it'd be funny to hide them in the bathroom. Actually, wait. Oh, the corner here is pretty uh, dark. Okay, we have learned that, like, I literally can't pick up what's inside uh, that satchel, so. There we go. Tra la 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 la. <laughs> What a weird open concept thing. Huh. All right. I wonder if this music is copyrightable. I'm always surprised by like the, you know, the kind of stuff that uh, you know, is copywritten or you know, like has copyright stuff that ends up, you know, getting me flagged on YouTube. It's the weirdest stuff, man. Hello, NPC. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Well, now might be a very good time for me to uh, deploy this boy. Yay. Uh, too far away. Let's go with that one. Dang it. Bit closer. The reflections are kind of screwing with me here. Beep. Fuck. How the hell? How the fuck? <laughs> Holy. Whoa. Uh, okay. Battery is still lit enough. Um. See anything? <laughs> anyway, good night. God, being a ninja is the best. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay. What would I have to do to make it so that the security cameras can't see me in here? Would it be like taking out all the lights? Maybe. Let's see. Funny enough, like, light shooting became much less of a necessary mechanic in later uh, versions of Splinter Cell. And I'm gonna be honest, there's something very satisfying about shooting lights out. So, like, it's kind of frustrating that it kind of stop being a thing. Yeah. Oh, I see that there's some um, there's some lights on the ground here. Maybe those are doing something. Hello. Ah! Nothing. Where? Who? Oh. Well, this guy's about to find a bunch. He's going to find a bunch of stuff. That's strange. Yeah, it is, isn't it? That's strange. Ah, yeah, it's really strange. It's just odd. It's so vividly strange. <laughs> uh. 
Bet mentioned that if he sings a song, that is copyrighted, so I won't do it again. I mean, we can mention songs, and I can sing songs. The the problem with anything copyrighted, it's not um, it's not like that I can't sing anything. Or it's not that I can't like uh, reference any songs. It's the fact that like um, YouTube's copyright bots are really efficient, and they're like they they can pull like a a song out of thin air like so easily. Um, and I'm talking like you know the actual song. You know, like audibly the exact same one. Nope. Nope. Dang it. Boop. Freaking cameras. Nope. No! I keep messing up. I keep thinking I have like secondary, like, you know, zoom or something, and I don't. I don't think. All right, go, 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 go. The cameras will not see you. Shot out enough lights. Uh, all right. Oh, wow, yeah, this guy was just sort of hanging out back here. All right, oh, I'll switch this. For no reason. I mean. Due to recent events, all security personnel will remain at level three patrol until further notification. Dang. I guess they've slightly detected me. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what's his keypad? Um, one one zero seven zero zero. Sure. Uh, use keypad. Nice. Well, tell Clarence I'm gonna have his ass and his badge for this. Be because I'm looking at agency photographs of Red Bear on TV! Find out what agency media the press has. Anything they haven't shown yet, get back before they do! I... I don't know, I don't care! Fix it! Well, somebody's high strung. Shit! Oh. <sighs> I'm not taking that sitting down. <laughs> I'm sure I... That, that looked like an interrogation setup. I hear something. I hear a thing. Well, okay, we're going back, but that's fine. If anything, this is fun. I like shooting down lights. Don't know if I would ever do any sort of, like, you know, music-related stream. You know, like a karaoke or whatnot. I'm too, like, I'm too, like, you know, self-conscious uh, about that kind of thing. Like, to me, I feel like I can sing kind of, but only songs that I'm really, like, you know, familiar with. And even then, like, I want to make sure that... I think I, I'm i kind of one of those guys that if I am going to be singing something, I would like it to come out as clean, as clear as possible. So I guess for me, like... I like, pro you know, producing the songs. I like producing the music. And then, you know, releasing it all nice and clean and, uh, and taken care of. Anyway, is there any... I don't see any switches in here. Weird. Same thing for me. Okay, you're going into the corner. <clears throat> <laughs> ah, that's fun. All right. Man, 
hey, I can save one of those sticky shockers I ended up destroying. <laughs> it's just like, uh, it ain't supposed to be dark down here. What the hell? Ah! Conveniently, you stopped at the exact point I was going to knock you out anyway. Thank you for not wasting my time. Is that other guy aware? Oh, hey, the other dude's aware. All right. Hmm, he's right above an actual light source, though. Oh, danger. Too much coffee. I'm getting jittery. What the hell? Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. You know better than that. <laughs> anyway, you hang out next to the fax machine. Or, you know, massive industrial printer. Okay. Let's actually save here. Um... Tell Clarence I'm gonna have his ass in his badge for this. Because I'm looking at agency photographs of Red Bear on TV! Find out what agency media the press has. Anything they haven't shown yet, get back before they do! I... I don't know, I don't care! Fix it! The refreshing taste of Pepsi. <laughs> All right. I'm sad. I really wanted to have like an interrogation scene with this guy. Just be like, "Hi, what's up?" <laughs> oh god damn it! The high-strung people tend to be the funniest because they're the ones that are just like, "Oh god, can my day get any worse?" Well, I mean, you could die, so I recommend you start talking. <laughs> It can be much, much worse, sir. <laughs> okay. What do we got going in here? Oh. Flares. seems to be in here. Uh, how do I still... Oh, here we go. Deactivate, please. Also, I don't know what disable IFF is. So let's just assume we want that off. Door lock. I can fix that. Don't hate your job and you won't die. <laughs> just force the dude to just be like a happy go lucky Samaritan. Just be like, oh yeah, no, I, I sure do love it here. I love working for the CIA. Yeah, totally. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Why'd I even turn that off in the first place? Is there a reason? 
maybe they're just like teaching you that hey just so you're aware turrets are a thing and you're gonna have to deal with them Am I going? Okay, I'm going up. Neat. Oh, hello. I just sent you Doherty's file. It's an information retrieval on the 508. What do I do with Doherty? Stay out of his way for now. We'll get back to you when we find more on him. of the media and a secure data forwarding service in Holland. Another in Bangkok, three in Canada. Any order? Nope. Take it back and turn up the volume. The foolish avarice and arrogance of a nation that still believes there is such a thing as a world superpower. Take it back to beliefs? What, the chainsaw? Of a nation that still believes there is... No, it's like a moaning in the background. That still believes there. You hear that? <laughs> that still believes. I don't hear it. That still believes. It's right there. A cow, maybe. <laughs> still believes. I honestly don't hear it. I, I think there's a chain rattling around foolish avarice. Let me check this with the media people. All right, I'll be here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff over here that could possibly catch me, so now would be a good time for me to save. That still belief. Right. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Hello, friend. Oh, dear. Let's pick him up and hide him right away. <laughs> What an agency, man. This is a nice little hidey hole. A nice little nook. Oh. Hey, yo. yo. <laughs> and the funny thing is, like, you could technically play this game perfect pacifism if you wanted to. You know, like, I could just leave everybody and sneak through, like, the, you know, a perfect sneaky snag. I choose not to, though. Because <laughs> I have a boatload of fun. Okay. Can't do anything with that computer. Um, anything for you? Oh, wait, I came through here. Have mercy on the lights. No. Have the lights ever given me mercy? If anything, they've made my life a living hell. I have no reason. Oh, God, hi. I think this is the guy that I need to go grab. Or, oh wait, no, I think they um, they told me to leave him alone, actually. Great work, Fisher. How are we doing, Grim? Working on it. Very clever back door. Looks like Philip Mass's work. Bouncing to a server. Surf Kalina underscore VA, which is the Kalina Tech building in... Oh, black hell, somebody spotted me. I shut down. We'll call back. Fisher, we're gonna need you to bag Doherty. What happened with Grim's daughter? We'll worry about that. You worry about Doherty. Wait for him to take a smoke break. It'll make grabbing him easier. Details on your offset. That might be exactly what he's doing right now, so, um, you know, let's cross our fingers on that one. Also, uh, I, I love how, like, technically my mission was not to grab him, but now, now my mission is to grab him. Frickin' hell, man. I hate this, like, you know, series of events happening. Why did they want me to hack into this room? Gosh, Bill, you get two computers? All right. What do we got in this data set? 
Jonathan Sutton. Why, why is everything like uppercase? Jesus Christ. Attached, you will find two images captured from the security system at the 4th Precinct Police Station in Tbilisi, Georgia. These images show the corpses of Agent Williams Robert Blaustein and Agent Alice Madison dated October 16, 2004. Use this information at your discretion, then destroy the message and do not attempt to trace it. Can you use more periods, goddamn? Anyway. Um... Interesting. Thanks. What's on this one? Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mr. Sutton. Sorry it took me so long to respond. I'm having some digital signature uh, trouble on this end. Probably unavoidable with the step up in encryption protocols. I'd bet a dollar to a dime Thomas uh, Gergenzied was in the warehouse fire, which would mean, surprise, surprise, we'll never see that corpse. He could possibly have been one of six nameless drunks arrested October 16th, especially considering that only four were released the next morning. No attempt was made to even account for the other two, but my bet is on the warehouse fire. Yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> but you don't have to worry about that. No, 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 no. He's, he's good. You don't gotta think about, uh, you know, Mr. Gergenzie. He's fine. Also, I see a dude over there. How the hell did that happen? Carefully. What the? <coughs> nothing! You heard and saw nothing. Don't look suspicious. Don't look suspicious. <laughs> Don't look suspicious. Yes, sir. Just walking him through. See, that is a prime example of one of those situations where I needed bullets to solve my mission, and I didn't kill. Why did you not pack me with a gun? <laughs> you morons. You know I work best with a gun. Don't ask me why I'm dragging this guy all the way over here. I don't... <laughs> I'm not even sure myself. Time to take a nap, funny man. <laughs> it's like it's like they found their own little, um, you know, the, 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 their their own little fun house. You know, it's a little little alcove. All they need is a couple of blankets over, um, you know, a couple of different awnings there, and they have their own little like secret base. Ooh, auditorium. Okay. Ah. What the hell? <laughs> Look at this shifty bastard. Look at his pet. Damn. Did he? He did. What the fuck? You for real? What are you doing, Fisher? He was going in the right direction. Now you're just gonna have to carry him all the way to the truck. I mean, it's fine. I can do that. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, look, it's gonna be annoying. I'll be real, but I think it's a miracle I bagged him. What are these guys up to? I uh, kind of want to take a look at the auditorium real quick. Dang it! You can't stop me! 
I got the touch. I got the power. Is somebody there? Ah! Don't find the body. happened there was that um he was probably uh he was probably guarding that door and like i happened to oh god i should probably mm, let's, let's put you over here for now i don't think i can shoot those out interesting the rules in place with this game i swear to god Take those guys down so bad. They won't see me up here, will they? I don't think so. They're too busy with their weird lecture. Though, I think you can. Uh, you can walk in front of the projector and alert them that way, if I remember correctly. Which is freaking funny. Um, have you played Ubisoft games back when you were... Oh, absolutely! Absolutely! This is one of them. <laughs> I played the ever-loving heck out of this game. Um, and yeah, I'm having a, a little bit of a refresher. Okay, are they gonna catch me by going through here? Thankfully, no. Yeah, yeah I played a lot of Ubisoft Meaning, games. We have I... three points of attack. Two transformers coming from County Electric Supply and the backup generator. Agent Marks has been trying to sell us on the idea of electrostatic fuel bombs, but the blast radius doesn't figure. A logic bomb activated in the hospital's archival system 70 hours earlier, approximately 10 p.m. on the 28th of October, effectively wiped out our chances of tracing the attack digitally. However, we do know how they gained access to the Transformers. These are hospital security access codes. The only parties who have these codes are hospital directors and us. If these codes came from CIA files, then... Excuse me. Yeah? Yeah, I'm telling them about it now. The... Oh, hold on a sec. Um, I'm gonna be a few minutes if you guys want to take a break. All right, I'm back. question is, where are they going to take a break? Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus, don't hurt me! Uh. Uh. Shit. <laughs> Luckily, they're all cowards! <laughs> you know there was an alarm on the wall, right? <laughs> uh, that somehow worked out. Where do I hide, you guys? I'm assuming, like, in the corner over there. Yeah, that, that looks dark enough. My god, I, I really genuinely didn't need to do much of anything here, and yet, like, yeah, here I am. Going and doing the thing. I've, like, I've been very fortunate this stream. Like, like I've, I've run into a couple of instances where I've had some problems, but, like, for the most part... <laughs> it's been pretty good. Oh, also... Aw, oh, it doesn't show up on the screen. But it shows up on my face. <laughs> Hold on. Kidnap Mitchell Doherty. Uh, I'm in the process of that. Working on it. Alright. Uh, so that's those bodies hidden. I don't think there's any more I have to worry about. Right? I don't think so. Oh, wait, there's this one. Ah. <laughs> We still have a, another room of, like, cops over there that I gotta take care of. The irony here is that, like, again, 
pretty sure they do set up these courses so that you could potentially play this and uh, completely avoid killing or hurting anybody. Like, you can literally play this game as a ghost, essentially. You know, like, you don't exist. You were never there. I don't vibe that way, though. <laughs> I enjoy the power trip of just, you know, coming in and smacking a few NPCs around. <laughs> Okay, for the sake of not botching all of my saves, um, uh, I think that's the break room, so. Break room. Lambert was worried about these fools. Really? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> oh god, you're gonna have to carry him all the way to the truck. God damn you're gonna you're gonna get caught so easily, Sam. Do you realize what you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> the NPCs are good at like doing uh choking noises. Oh yeah. One of the great parts about this game. Just the guttural noises they make when you, like, you know, take them out. Yeet it. I'm yeeting all of them. Just very comfortably in the corner. Yeet. Oh, sorry. It's not Coca-Cola. It's, um... Chin Cola? Frick is that? Uh, anyway. Well, what are the food stuffs do they have in here anyway? Is that is that a chip brand called crap? <laughs> Wait, is that Rayman? Ah! Hold on. Well, by George, yes, it says Rayman on there. Hey, how about that? <laughs> also, wait, does that say fuck you? Or does that say frick you? <laughs> ah, hmm, yes. Communist just, uh, communist chips. Mm -hmm. Tasty. Uh, I love fake brands in video games. It's great. When does it say Rayman? Right, right here. Ray man. <laughs> That's great. Ubisoft reference. <laughs> anyway, what we got in the bathrooms? Uh, again, time to check the toilets to make sure that the uh, the <laughs> the devs weren't being cheeky. Okay, good, good. So far, nice and clean. This is a nice, clean establishment. Oh. Hi, what are you doing here? I'm gonna put you here with the rest of the guards. Ah. Delicious. Just imagining. Look, I know that there is a soda brand out there that's actually pretty good. It's called Lenonade. 
I don't know if anybody has ever had that. It's good. It's basically just sort of a pink strawberry lemonade. But, like, the branding on it makes it look like it's communist. <laughs> and it's, like, it's entirely a gag. You know, it's, it's, it's a funny gimmick being like, ha-ha, communist soda. Uh, one data stick. Let's see what that says. Agent Togger. The turret was retrieved on a westbound road leading out of Tbilisi two days ago. The identity of the drivers is still to be determined. Apparently, you are right. The turret is sensitive to both heat and motion. We're having trouble identifying the software, but there is definitely a very effective IFF recognition system. Ah, there we go. Uh, at this thing. Anyone not programmed as a friendly will be fired upon if in range. Disabling the IFF system simply makes it fire on on anyone, friendly or not. A week ago, I wouldn't have believed anything this advanced would exist anywhere close to that region. A dangerous time to be underestimating our enemies. Okay. Well, let's just make sure that the all the turrets just remain off. I don't want anyone to get shot. My internet's a bit crap, so the video quality is not great. But if it says Rayman on the vending machine, that's cool. Uh, it, it was on a bag of chips. <laughs> it was weird. All right, so let's take out that light. I think I'm supposed to take the body all the way through here, probably. Likely. God, I hope so. You know, it's interesting with the um, with the layout that I currently have with the stream, though. Um, you know, the gameplay is a little bit smaller on the screen. Smaller than I'd kind of want it to be. But the benefit is that, like, you know, you guys... Um, oh, this keypad. Uh, what was the key? Where? 0614? Is that it? Anyway, no, the benefit to it is that, like, it's a nice, clean interface. Everything's compartmentalized into its own corner, you know? And I prefer that over having, like, you know, bigger screen, personally. There was a time before the whole YouTubing era where I uh, I did have... Um, where, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hide you, like, over here, I think. Anyway, there was a point in time where I did have a much larger screen. Um, but, you know, that was pre-VTubing days where I uh, needed to make sure that... Uh, what? I forgot about this room. UFO sightings! We found them, boys! Damn it! <laughs> you can't keep me out of here! I will learn about the Eagle House! Open the door! I want to see a gray alien! They're real! Okay, nobody in here. Cool. Data stick. Message encoding protocol DF020781. Oh, what does this mean? What does this mean? Oh no! probably says something I, I do see like a number in this message so that's probably the the uh, door key for the other door that's in here i don't know what it means i don't know what it says shoot all right well zero two uh okay zero two zero seven eight one is this it is this where they're hiding him nothing in here great oh all except a bunch of sticky shockers bonus good stuff good stuff what's this what holy crap all of the sticky shockers thank you i'm still frustrated that 
<laughs> it's not it's not Elamouse. Damn it. Ah. I feel like this room needs to be investigated more, but oh. Okay. Uh okay, that's the smoking area. So I wonder if yeah, d d that code might mean something. I might have to decode it, possibly. Who knows? Uh, I'm gonna hope that there's nobody in here. Yeah. All right, let's go, funny man. Ah, uh, okay. So we're we're kidnapping him. So I'm assuming we are taking him like. Oh fuck! Back there. You saw nothing! Whoa, that's strange. How the hell did that happen? You didn't see anything. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that could have been bad. Shoot. This is a sliding door, so I guess I, I don't have to worry about, like, picking him up and. Woo you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's hope that nobody else decides to come in and wreck my day. Where am I going from here? It's nice and dark out. Junior Wilkes is in position for extraction. He's with Special Agent Baxter, interrogation expert. They've got a disappearance truck parked in the back. Cool, cool. See, I did good. See, Lambert. Everything's fine. I am a top operative. got another complication for you. Some CIA security dick is chatting up Junior Wilkes and Baxter. How were they spot? They weren't hiding. NSA presence on Langley is completely legit. The only problem is me and Dorothy. Correct. A SIGINT ninja with an unconscious bureaucrat on his shoulder is less the code setting, so don't let him see you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. It's like, we're normal here. You're not. <laughs> Now, luckily, I have enough sticky shockers to uh, sink a ship. Uh, and we have several lights that are currently being protected, which sucks. No! What the hell is that buzzing noise? Thank you, whoever turned it off. Yike. Shit! We have an intruder in the agency! Like my my score for these missions are probably like in the floor. <laughs> it's like you know how many times you were caught. 
Yeah, you know how many sticky shockers I had? Looks like it counterbalances out, eh? Okay, I still need to uh, get Doherty. I need to bring him through here. Oh, I don't know what that uh, song is, actually. Wait, wait, La Lazy Town? Oh, oh, dude. Uh, so, I... Loud. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I never really, like, I, so, you know, I, I'm older. Well, okay. I hesitate to say old because I'm trying not to, like, you know, be mean with myself. But, like, I, I'm old from internet standards. And I only know of Lazy Town, and I know of the memes related to Lazy Town. I never watched it personally. I respect it. Anyway, Doherty, you can hang out over there. Or not. I think I know what I need to do here. How many sticky shockers do I got? I got three. I think that might be just enough that I can handle taking out the rest of the people here. Possible. Oh, this poor... Uh, see, okay. I don't know whether or not the dude's innocent. Probably not. Probably got some intel that he shouldn't. And, like, you know, probably my... That's my big crux for why I'm just taking this guy hostage but at the same time poor dude <laughs> he doesn't deserve this ha ha who's there what the it's what water. bullshit <laughs> Somehow the guys over there didn't hear that. Uh, anyway. I used to watch it sometimes as a kid along with Time Warp Trio and that mummy cartoon. I have not heard of such things. But interesting. No, I was I was a kid that like grew up on blues blues and stuff. And you know, straight to VHS garbage. The kind of stuff that, like, it's surprising we paid for it. You know what I mean? It's the thing where it's just like, um, it's like, wow, you should have paid me. We watched a lot of Barney the Dinosaur, unironically. I love you. You love me. We're a creepy ass family. <laughs> Those series are niche and used uh, used to air on Discovery Channel before it rebranded to the Hub. Oh, nice. God, the Hub. Ooh. Sam, please do not moan in my ear. I don't need that. Anyway, um, bang, bang, bang. I never watched Lazy Town myself, but I've listened to some of the songs uh, and also the meme cooking by the book, as well as the swear words and the... Wait, swear words? What? Okay, if they turn their heads, they can clearly see me. <laughs> I mean, not so much anymore. We're fine. We're good. You mean you actually deal with humans sometimes? Rarely, but yeah. Awesome. So, uh, what do you use? I don't understand the question. You know, what kind of drugs do you use? I'm clean. I think he means for interrogations, for getting people to talk. Right. Ah. I like barbiturates. There's no such thing as a truth serum, but barbiturates are pretty good. What, like reds, blues? What's that stuff? Pinto something? Pinto barbitol? That's a good one. 
Of course, people don't reveal anything useful while they're under the influence. They babble, they fantasize, but when they regain sobriety, they think they gave everything away while they're high. Then they'll give you everything because they think you've already got it. Oh, man. That's really creepy. Yeah. Interesting. I need to somehow distract these guys. Like, I can't really shock either of them. I could shock them both, I guess. What's oh, more, Fisher? Have you gone mad? I don't know what to say. What? The They're both out! Get out of there, you're finished. I knocked them out, probably. God fucking damn it. I guess technically they could probably wake up later on and just be like, wait, were we attacked by a ninja? <laughs> uh, okay. I have to come up with a better distraction than that. Okay. Doherty, you hang out here. Maybe something to do with something. You over mean here. you actually deal with humans sometimes? Clearly, but yeah. Awesome. So, uh, what do you use? I don't understand the question. You know, what kind of drugs do you use? I'm clean. I think he means for interrogations, for getting people to talk. Right. Ah. I like barbiturates. There's no yep. such thing as a truth serum, but barbiturates are pretty good. Do you have anything that we could, like, throw at the guys? Yeah, I don't see anything. Uh, maybe just a good time jump in a corner or something. I probably shouldn't do this, like, right in the light. Let's see, let's see. Can't shoot out that light. Just conveniently. Maybe if I like, I, I could shoot a ring airfoil around um, as sort of like a distractor. Dang it. Okay. Shit. God. All right. Never mind. Wait, I can pick them back up? Oh, I didn't know that. I don't think the same can be said for uh, future games. Okay, let me try and get like that one guy's attention over there. Come on, take the bait. Right over here, buddy. I'm, I'm literally standing in the light, buddy. How do I distract them? Maybe it's something to do with the car. Maybe I gotta like, oh, perhaps I gotta sneak the body over to the car. Damn! Somebody stop him! Uh, we're gonna try and do this again. There. Don't look suspicious. Don't look suspicious. Uh, oh, I see there's a light up there. Well, can I shoot that out? I think that is a light that I can shoot out. Hmm, maybe that'll be enough to distract them. Maybe. Let's see. Whoa! What the hell's going on? Don't worry about it. Damn! 
Somebody stop him! What? Okay, well, the alarm's going off. Meaning I basically lost. Ah, okay. Hum. Dila hum. Can I just throw his body in the dumpster and be done with it? <laughs> like, come on. You mean you actually deal with humans sometimes? Rarely, but yeah. Awesome. So, uh, what do you use? Whoa! What the hell's going on? Don't worry about it. De I was able to break that before! What? Yay, consistency! What the heck? Alright. I have learned that I cannot break any of the lights in here. One light break was uh, a coincidence. Or like, I don't know. You mean you actually deal with humans sometimes? Rarely, but you yeah. Mean awesome. You actually deal with so, humans uh, sometimes? What do you use? I Holy don't understand shit. the question. You know, what kind of drugs do you use? I'm clean. I think he means for interrogations, for getting people to talk. Probably need to put him in like the past or something. Or not. I'll just run him over. Holy crap. What do you want from me, game? Maybe maybe the notes have got something to it. Hold on. Um Incapacitate CIA security officer speaking with Wilkes and Bat. Well, I freaking did that at one point, and then the game yelled at me. Or well, I kidnapped Mitchell Doherty, technically. Well, <sighs> hold up. Here's an idea. Here's a thought. Maybe. Perhaps, here's a question. So, maybe I wasn't supposed to incapacitate one of them. Because it says security officer. So, maybe I just incapacitated the wrong one at the wrong time, maybe? You know, like I'm trying to take out, I, I need to take out this guy. And I accidentally took out, like, one of my environments on accident. Mm. <laughs> Hey guys. Thank God, I thought he would never go away. Who's <laughs> our friend? That's the man. Where's oh, Dover? I'm such a moron. <laughs> we need to move quickly. Lambert's freaking out over this Kalinatech thing. I'll get him. We're not going anywhere until you give me Darby. Sorry. I poo pooed the bed several times. I didn't understand the mission. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I got Doherty. Hold on a second. I done fudged it, but yeah, here you go. We're not going anywhere till you give me Doherty. We're here. not going anywhere till you give me Doherty. Did Lambert tell you about Sarah? No. She's fine. The blackout spooked her, but she's completely all right. Ah. Don't get too emotional. Let's get out of here. Thanks, Wilkes. <laughs> sure. Also, I love how both of them are like, yeah, I just tossed them over my shoulder. <laughs> no big deal. Spine's probably shattered, but that's fine. All right, so we have uh, kidnapped a man. Da -da. Appeared on the internet at 3 o'clock this morning. My declaration of war against the United States Look of America. Look at that desktop. And Holy crap. Ours. Until every last foreign soldier has left Georgia, this war will continue on American soil and around the world, claiming the lives of the aggressors. The scales of power have been newly balanced, and we will no longer accept the tyranny of the United States.
Blame the U.S. media for their part in spreading Combain Nikoladze's message. Ironic counterpoint to the situation at home, U.S. soldiers in Georgia and Azerbaijan have spent their fifth night without combat. Though tensions remain high, military intelligence has been unable to locate any <laughs> the remaining kid's like, Georgian commanders. Oh, can I catch it? Have dramatically <laughs> increased their efforts to can find I hold your gun? Combain no. Nikoladze. U.S. intelligence is combing a constantly expanding search radius extending from Georgia. Each new country another possible secret alliance with the... Because what we have here is a situation where further airstrikes just won't do any good. Nikolaitz army, if that's what you want to call it, is a bunch of... As morning Whoa. relatives prepare funeral services, about to say, swear America's word. law enforcement and military forces prepare for the unknown. Waiting for Combain Nikoladze's next move. Again, can I have your gun, sir? Can I have your gun? All right, so we're going to Kalina Tech next day. Uh, recovering the encryption key. Russian mercenaries have begun to destroy evidence of Georgian activities at Kalina Tech. Before her detection in the network, Grimm's daughter discovered that a technician named Ivan is hiding in the building. Ivan possesses an encryption key that could help third echelon find Nikoladze. So, yeah. Fisher, your mission is a man named Ivan. When Grimm's daughter got made in Kalini Tech's server, Nikolaz's mercenaries got spooked. They're pulling up stakes, wiping out all evidence of their presence, including Ivan and his comrades. Who's Ivan? One of Nikolaz's geeks, a programmer. They're killing their own men. It's all evidence. Let's pray you find him first. Details on your offset. Hmm. Back again. Oh, hi. How you doing? This is as close as we get. Are you sure you're cool with the details? This last minute stuff bugs me out. I'll figure it out. Well, be careful. I've already got a mother, Wilkes. <laughs> uh, that's a great line. Yeah, whatever. And you ain't well, you ain't her. All right then. Well, I think now would be a good time to uh, save game, and we're gonna save this as. Um, Mama Fisher! There we go. And that would, uh, that will do it for that. Ah, but I have been enjoying myself. Again, it, like, portions of the game are frustrating, but portions of the game are hilarious and fun. And I enjoyed that. Like, I, I feel like the game probably sucked, like, massively on console. Because, again, I don't remember there being, like, a way of being able to make like a ton of saves on the uh, on the console version, but yeah, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. But that'll do it for the stream. Thank you guys very much for coming out. I appreciate it very much. My stream schedule is Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday. All of them starting at around seven o'clock p.m. Central Time. And the next game I'm going to be playing is Kirby, and I'm going to be doing that on uh, Saturday. Specifically, I'm playing through Kirby and the Forgotten Land, and I've been having a lot of fun with that. Lots of cute things. And we need to go and, uh, uh, say, you know, save the boy. God, I, I've already forgotten his name, unfortunately. Why? God. Brain. I, I'm so bad with names. I know what he looks like. And it, they're adorable. They're adorable things. Alpha Lynn, thank you, Muffin. <laughs> Brain hurt. But anyways, uh, so that's happening that day. And also, uh, we are on Sunday, I'm going to be playing more Stardew Valley. But honestly, um, you have probably heard that there has been a big old update that has happened with Stardew Valley. And I am incredibly tempted uh, to completely wipe my save file and replay through it again. Because I started playing it before the 1.6 update dropped. And I don't know whether or not saves that were made before that aren't eligible to have a bunch of the new stuff. Or if like a bunch of the new stuff is curbed and thrown out. I'm unsure. We might be able to... Um, get away with maybe just going ahead and keeping going with the save. I'm not sure. No, you cannot pop Kirby. Do not do that. He's a good boy. Um, I don't know. I'm debating on it, though. Um, I will make a decision and we will, uh, we, you know, we'll figure out what the consequences of my actions are when we move over to Sunday. So. Anyway, I'm going to take off here. Again, thank you very much for coming out. See you next time.